this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today I am doing another challenge against iBallistic Squid, and this is the Animal Challenge. And this is a very important one because this is the decider. Uh, I've done uh, two challenges against him in the past. We did the uh, the Rainbow Sheep Challenge, which I won. Woohoo! Then we did the uh, the Slow Mo Challenge, which uh, iBallistic Squid won. And uh, we're now doing the Animal Challenge. And uh, it's very simple. Basically, we have two pens here. Uh, this is Squid's pen, and uh, this is my pen over here. And the challenge is to get one of every different type of sheep into this pen. And, uh, no, sorry, <laughs> one of every different type of animal, not one of every different type of sheep. <laughs> sorry, I got the, the rainbow sheep challenge on the brain, yeah. So we're gonna get one of every different animal in here, and, uh, once we do that, uh, yeah, we, we win the challenge, and uh, I think Squid is ready to go, because we're gonna sleep, and then in the morning we're gonna start. But I first wanna give a, a very quick shout-out, uh, to Amanda Perry, uh, who's actually the, uh, oh, and some cake as well. Oh, uh, yeah, she's actually the person who, uh, suggested this challenge, so, uh, let's go, let's go get started straight away then. Squid, uh, doesn't seem to, to wanna wait around, and uh, this is a brand new survival world, but I have given us some some basic provisions. Uh, inside here we got some some basic stone tools and some torches and stuff. And uh, in here we have a whole load of uh, chicken sandwiches, so uh, we don't have to worry too much about uh, getting tools and food and stuff. We have all of that stuff, uh, so we can just go and focus on trying to to get the animals. And uh, there's squid already rushing. And I think the first thing to do is to go and try and get as much wheat as we can uh, to guide around most of the animals. Uh, you need to hold wheat in your hand, and then they follow you. And so I want to get a whole load of wheat. Oh no, there's a dog! There's a dog right here! There's a wolf right here! How lucky is that? Oh god, I hope Squid doesn't see it. Oh no, the, the wolf is um, going to be going around eating all of the sheep. That is very lucky. The problem is, to get a dog, you need bones. And to get bones, you need a skeleton. And uh, to get a skeleton, you need a dark place. And it's uh, right at the beginning of the day. So what I want to try and do is keep that dog hidden from Squid. So Squid doesn't find it. And then I might be able to go and try and tame it in the morning. Anyway, I've got quite a few seeds here. There we go, I've got 11 seeds, and I actually want to hold on to some seeds as well, because um, uh, you guide the uh, the ducks around uh, with the seeds, well, the, the chickens, sorry, not the ducks, and so yeah, it'd be good to keep some of them anyway, and <laughs> you can see that Lee's been on this world. Now, I loaded up the world, uh, and just to, to make sure that we had a, a mushroom biome and uh, a jungle, uh, I asked Lee to have a little fly around, uh, just to make sure that all that stuff is there, and uh, it was, and while flying around, I think he's uh, left a few Easter eggs for us to, to find as we go. Anyway, what I'm going to do, rather than build a proper wheat farm, I'm just going to go next to the water here and uh, put all my seeds down here and then that way it's kind of hidden from squid and hopefully he's not going to steal any and uh, also um, yeah it just saves time me having to, to go and get buckets or anything so let's go and plant uh, pretty much uh, all of it down here and then this can be left growing and uh, then I guess I, I'm going to go and uh, start exploring uh, one of the the most difficult ones to get is going to be the ocelots uh, because to, to get an ocelot uh, you need to uh, you need to get a fish, and then you need to to go to the uh, the jungle, and uh, you need to hold the fish and wait for the ocelot to come to you. And of course, to get fish, you need a fishing rod, and to get that, you need string. So it's going to be quite complicated. And there's squid running around there. I don't really know what to do then. What I might do is I might go down into a cave quickly to see if I can find some some skeletons and some some spiders, and uh, then that way I might be able to to get the bone. Because apart from that, I'm not sure what else I could do. Or actually, I know what I could do, which might be quite handy is oh look oh look oh he's got the oh i could get the chicken that's a good idea actually i've already got seeds i can go and get the chicken immediately that's not a, that's not a bad idea right i just need to to find a chicken i don't think they're quite as common as some of the the other animals we've got loads of uh piggy wigs and woolies and moo moos all over the place but <laughs> uh no um i don't know i don't have a name for chickens do i No cluckers i guess no cluckers around the place <laughs> uh let's go and have a, a look around here then i can't see any close by uh, but i don't need to worry about that too much because i'm sure they're not going to be the biggest uh, so what I might do then is I might just get my map out and I might just go and uh, while waiting for the, the wheat to grow uh, just go and try and find the uh, the mushroom biome so uh, yeah that way I'm going to have a big advantage on squid because to be honest all of the, the easy ones like the, the sheep and stuff I'm just not worried about them because they're absolutely everywhere I'm sure I can I can get them in at some point it's really just the uh, the wolf the ocelot and the uh, the uh, mushroom uh, which I think is going to be the, uh, the big difference maker so uh, if I just go and focus on the difficult ones first uh, that should hopefully give me a, an advantage because I can go and just get the, the 
easy ones wherever. And I like this place. I always love the um the big open areas. Like whenever I load up a new seed, I'm always just looking, thinking about, ah, oh, I could build this here. You know, with this big flat ground, it's just so easy just to build whatever you you want on it. But I'm not going to be building. I am just going to be wandering around, and I might uh, break uh, some leaves as well, some grass, sorry, uh, as well, just so I can get some uh, some more seeds in case I need to to grow some wheat. Uh, because uh, as soon as I find the mushroom biome, I'm just going to charge straight back home. Uh, hopefully by that point uh, my wheat would have grown and uh, then I can go and start working on getting some uh, getting some animals in and generate structures is off by the way uh, because if it was on uh, then we could just go and uh, try and find the uh, the nearest NPC village but uh, yeah because uh, because generate structures is off uh, it means that we have to, to grow our own wheat so it's just that little bit more difficult and uh, I can't see any mushroom biomes over here they're normally on um, islands, aren't they? Which um, should make this a bit more difficult because uh, hopefully it's not too far away because we're going to have to to literally guide the mushroom all the way from wherever it is, like the whole way back home. So uh, that might be a, a little bit difficult, but uh, I'm just going on a, a reconnaissance missions right now. I'm just going to go and uh, try and find one. And it doesn't really matter about finding animals this far out because I'm not going to uh, bother taking uh, any of these back with me. If you remember the, uh, the rainbow sheep challenge, Squid looked like he was going to win. He was really good at the start and he rushed off and he got like one of every different colour die and uh, I did pretty rubbish and basically did what I'm doing now and spent the whole time just sort of wandering around and uh, exploring the world and uh, yeah, everyone thought that he was going to win, me included, but then he made a mistake at the end and uh, he didn't die uh, all of the other sheep, he missed one out and so I'm going to try and have a repeat of that. He's going to be rushing at the beginning just trying to get any old animal he can in. I'm going to take my time and I'm not going to panic and I'm just going to hopefully just keep soldiering on and uh, eventually without making any mistakes I, I should hopefully be able to, to come out on top. It's just kind of hard doing it in day because we really need skeletons and spiders and unless I do go like deep into a cave somewhere I'm not going to find any. Oh I heard a, I heard a zombie there. I don't need a zombie but I, I heard a, a random growl and here we go. I think I've I think I've just found the jungle. Right, this is the jungle over here. So at least I now know where this is. I think Squid's probably staying yeah, he I think he's staying in that same kind of area. And something I realised I didn't do again is I didn't look on my map to see um where Whoa! Whoa, that could have been me gone if I just fell down there. Yeah, I didn't look at my map to see where the, the base was, but if I look at where Squid is now, I guess it's just somewhere, like, I guess it's down somewhere about where he is, so I can remember that. Right, so here's the jungle. It's annoying though, because even if I do see some, some kitty cats around here, oh look, there is, there's a cat right there. Yeah, even though there are ocelots here, uh, I can't ca get any of them yet because I don't have any fish and I don't have any uh, string either. So uh, I'm, I'm going to have to wait until night until I can uh, go and try and take out some spiders and stuff. And there's sheep round here as well. Okay, so that's good. I've managed to find myself a jungle. And so my next mission, my next uh, uh, objective on my tick list uh, is to go and uh, try and find myself um, uh, a mushroom biome. And was there, a, was there a moose on one of those trees? Am I imagining that? I think I think Lee might have built a, a moose up there on that tree. Oh, no, there's a moose up there as well. There's a moose everywhere. <laughs> There's mooses. Is that the way you say it? Is that the plural of moose? Mooses? Moosei? I'm not sure what you call it. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a, a whole load of moose all over this uh, jungle. I think Lee got a bit bored while I was building the houses for ourselves. <laughs> oh dear, it doesn't matter. Right, let's go and uh, have a wander around then. And uh, see if we can come across the the mushroom biome. That's kind of the quite nice thing about the uh, the Xbox edition. Even though on PC it's good because you've got endless worlds, you're never going to run out of stuff. Like you can have these little mini games on the the Xbox worlds, and because uh, the worlds aren't too big, like it, it doesn't take too long uh, just to to be able to explore the entire world. And <laughs> just seeing a moose on the top of a massive jungle tree like that is just the most ridiculous sight in the world. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, over in this direction and make sure we don't miss anywhere out. Uh, hopefully the uh, the mushroom biome isn't going to be too far away. Otherwise, that might be uh, quite difficult uh, in order to to get them back. And uh, hopefully, uh, by the time I get home, all of my wheat would have grown. Then I can start uh, just getting some of the uh, the easier animals in. And oh, look at this place! This place looks quite cool. Right, let's be careful that there's not a, a massive ravine again. Oh, this place looks awesome, doesn't it? it? Looks like a proper natural cave. And here's a here's a um. Here's the zombie. I don't really need you. Is there going to be anything dark down in this cave? No. It's really skeleton and spiders that I'm after. I'm not sure how many, how much string do you need to make a fishing rod? I think it's either two or three. I think it might be two actually. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I'm just going to go and get loads of them because uh, catching ocelots is actually really difficult. Well, I'm really rubbish at it. I don't know if you remember when I tried to catch mittens. It took me about half an hour just to try and catch one kitty cat. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm not very good at it. So the best idea 
here is to get loads of fish. Uh, so just when you do get the the opportunity to try and catch one, you can just throw all of your fish, and then yeah, hopefully the um yeah the uh, the cat won't be able to to say no. So uh, I am going to go on a, a bit of a, a fishing spree at some point, and I need to get better at getting fish as well. That's something that I've uh, I've not really done very much, and I'm not particularly good at. I've not got the uh, the best reaction times in the world. So I can have a little a little fishing session, and this jungle is massive. This is going to be the perfect place to get ocelots. And the problem with ocelots as well is when me and Squid are going to be both going after them, we're going to be both getting in each other's ways and I'll be just about to get one and I'm sure Squid's going to scare it off and all sorts. So yeah, I'm not particularly looking forward to that. Oh, did I hear a skeleton? Did you hear that? Everyone be quiet for one second. Don't make a sound. Quiet. You hear a skeleton? Was it down here somewhere? Oh, I heard it again. There is. There's a skeleton. Where is it? Is there, is there an open cave around here? Ooh, ooh, down here. Ooh, look at this place. This is mysterious. Oh, nope, nothing down here. Oh, there's got to be one round here in a cave. It doesn't matter. I'm sure I'm going to get some in the morning anyway. It was just, if I was able to get one just now so I could uh, get that, that first dog, which is right by our houses, that would be uh, very convenient. So I've not run into to any more wolves around the area, so uh, it would be good to, to get that one, which is... Um, uh, yeah, which is nearby. Anyway, let's go in a head start heading back to the the base, and uh, I should hopefully uh, be able to to run across the uh, the mushroom biome on my way back. And uh, yeah, and even if I don't, uh, it will become night very soon, and then that way I can start taking out some some googlies uh, on my way home. It might have actually been worth probably um grabbing some iron or something to maybe make some some iron armor and an iron sword just to, just to stay safe because if I did die and lose all of my stuff that would be uh, a little bit rubbish and there's a, a whole swamp over here squid seems to have just stayed in the exact same place again I love the way that he's doing the exact same tactic as he did last time and I'm doing my exact same tactic as I did I suppose it worked for me it only worked because he, he made a bit of a silly mistake at the end but <laughs> it did work I always say slow and steady to, to win the race and where is this mushroom biome I I bet it's going to be right by the base, but I just missed it uh, because, uh, yeah, getting the uh, the moose rooms is going to be really difficult. And what's going on with this tree? There's a tree with a few branches missing. How peculiar. All right, I can't see any mushroom biomes. I thought it might be over here somewhere. If I just go to the uh, the top right of the world here and then just start uh, going back down that side there, uh, hopefully I'm going to run across it on my way back. And it's uh, probably becoming dark now, uh, which is good because I actually want some googlies for once. <laughs> I think this is uh, one of the only times that I've been wandering around saying, right, I want some googlies. And look, here's a, a desert over here. It's quite a nice seed, actually, isn't it? Uh, it's quite a, quite a nice world to, to go on. I don't need the, uh, the desert at all, but... Um, yeah, it's just uh, just nice to, to find it anyway. That would be cool. I wish there were some 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 more biome specific uh, mobs. Like I wish there's certain things that only spawned in the desert and stuff, just to to make things a little bit more interesting. That'd be quite cool. And look, here's a spider. There's a spider right here. All right, let's try and take him out and let's see if I can go get some string, so then I can go and make my my first fishing rod. Right, charge in. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Yeah! God, the stone sword's rubbish, isn't it? It's ages since I've used the stone sword, and it dropped absolutely nothing. What a big waste of time. <laughs> it actually really hurt me. Well, it took away three hearts, which, uh, for just one little itsy-bitsy spider, was uh, quite a lot, actually. Right, so let's um, let's go and keep heading back this way. Here's a... Uh, seems to be like a, a snowy biome in this direction. Still no mushroom biome. I'm sure there is one. Lee definitely said that he did manage to, to find one, so there should be one around here somewhere, but I am becoming more and more aware of the fact that all I've done so far is wander around the world. I planted some wheat and then all I've done is wander around the world and I have done next to no progress to actually getting any of the animals, which is uh, a little bit worrying. Maybe the, um, Maybe the mushroom biome, uh, mushroom biome isn't on the uh, the edge of the world then. Maybe it's like plonked in like a, a river right in the middle. You normally do find them right on the edge. I bet it's going to be right by the base. I bet it is. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to head back anyway. Because at least I've, even though I haven't found the mushroom biome, I've like crossed out a lot of areas where it could be, which is, I guess, some kind of small progress. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to head back to the base now, whatever, and see how well Squid's doing and probably burst into tears because he's probably got most of the animals in already. Uh, hopefully... I come across some skellies on my way home, so I can I can take them out to get some bones, uh, just so I can I can get that wolf into the the pen. I'm not finding many googlies though. Look, it's it's the middle of the night. Well, it's the beginning of the night. They should be spawning all over the place, but I can't find any. And oh, oh, is that is that going to be mushroom biome? Is that mushroom biome? 
I don't think it is. I think is that just mountains? They're not normally that tall, are they? No, I don't think I don't think that is mushroom biome. Oh, that'd have been convenient. And where are all the googlies? Have they all gone on holiday or something? Look, there's nothing. Oh no, there's one Enderman. I don't need that though. There's normally stuff all over the place. Here we go. God, look how shiny that spider's face is there in the distance. Right, let's go take this fella out. Oh, don't fall down the hole, spider. Go, 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 go. There we go. Got the spider. No string. Really? Really, game? You're not going to give me a little bit of string? <laughs> oh, dear. Just typical. Just typical. I'm getting my sword almost destroyed here as well. I might have to go and grab some some stone from around here as well, just in case uh, I do need to make some more. It's kind of nice just starting off with uh, all of the tools. It just makes uh, that bit a whole lot easier. I might actually grab some iron as well while I'm here, just so I can maybe make a, a stone sword. If I am going to be taking out a few mobs, if I just go and get these two pieces of iron down here, uh, I can smelt them at some point. Actually, I'm going to need to get some uh, some more cobble stone as well uh, just so I can make a, a furnace so I can I can smelt it I'm not sure how much you need I think it says uh, it nine pieces I think you might need to make a furnace and I've got there we go I've got 11 pieces that's more than enough so uh, yeah if I just cut down a, a tree at some point and uh, then I'll be able to make a, an iron sword which will make things easier and where is that mushroom biome I've, I'm sure I've explored pretty much the the entire land and I've not yet been able to find one Unless it is that place over there. Well, I can, if I can't find one, I'll go back and have a look over there and see if that is the uh, the mushroom biome. And uh, I can see a, I think I can see another moose in the uh, the distance ahead of me over there. I think that is a moose, isn't it? Is that mushroom biome? Hmm, I might, I might make a, a boat in a little bit and go over there just to have a little explore because I'm getting quite curious. And is this the home? There we go. There's a there's Moose Island over there and uh, there's a whole load of googlies over this place now. All right, let's go and see how well Squid Nugget's been doing then. Let's go and see how many animals he's been able to, to get in. All right, I'm going to ignore the zombies so I don't need them. Oh, look, the dog is still right there. There is still a dog right in place there. And oh, look, he's only got the chicken. I thought he's going to be doing amazing. He's still only got the chicken. Oh, look, there's a dog right there. Right, okay, let's go and try and get some bones, shall we? I'm going to eat some of this cake up. Nom nom nom. There we go. A whole cake down in stampy tradition. And uh, I need to make a, a crafting table actually. So um, <laughs> the, the dog wants to be with me. Can I try and get the dog in my house? If I leave my door open, hopefully the dog is just going to go and walk in. I could actually, if I leave my pen open, if the dog just walks in, I could trap it in. I don't even need to tame it. Imagine that if the dog just walked in anyway. How perfect would that be? Come on, dog. No, I don't think it's going to happen. But <laughs> if I do come over and I just see it like in the pen, I can just go and shut the door. Anyway, let's go grab my, my axe, shall we? And, oh, look, here we go. Here's a here's a skeleton over here. Let's go and take this guy out, see if I'm going to be able to, to get a bone from him. Go, 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 go. God, these stone swords are absolutely rubbish. There we go. I managed to get one bone from him, so uh, that's better than nothing. So I've got one chance on the, the dog at least, and who knows? Uh, I might get lucky with it. And uh, let's go and take out some of these. And here we go. We've got a spider. I needed you as well. Thank you for coming. And no, I didn't even get any string from it. <laughs> these spiders are being very stubborn today. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's go and uh, put down my furnace and stuff. I know I can see Squid wandering around there. Oh, no, hopefully he's not going to steal my dog, is he? Oh, look, oh, look he's tamed one. He's managed to tame a dog. He's got the dog. He's not been able to get it in though. Look, this dog's there going after the sheep. I think he wanted to get the sheep, but the dog's going after it. And no, I wasn't able to, to get the dog. He's got one though. He's managed to, to tame himself a dog. He better not tame the other one as well. He better not be greedy and steal them both. <laughs> anyway, let's go and um, make my crafting table and then I can go and plonk down my furnace as well. I just put that down there. And, oh god, I mucked up the painting a bit. There we go. And then uh, if I go put down my furnace, I go get my iron smelting. That way I can just make uh, an iron sword, which will make things easier. Then I'm going to go and have a, a quick check on my wheat and to see if any of that has smelted. And I realize I don't have any coal, do I? I just put some uh, put some some wooden for now, uh, which will do nicely. Uh, put in a few pieces of that. That should be able to smelt that. And uh, let's go check on my wheat and see if any of that's grown. Uh, excuse me, Enderman. I have no grief with you. Uh, where did I plant it? It was down here somewhere, I think. Was it down here I planted my wheat? Uh, I think it might have been. I should probably put some... Yeah, here we go. Here, it's, it's all down here. It's hardly grown at all, actually. It's hardly grown at all. If I put some torches around it, then that way it should grow through the uh, the night as well and uh, yeah hopefully it will get done um Oh no, I didn't mean to just break that bit. Right, let's go and put some more down, shall we? Uh, I really only need uh, one seed, so I might as well just only keep one and then plant all of this wheat down here like this. Go down like that and that there, and then put down a torch. There we go. That's going to keep growing throughout the night. And now let's go try and get a chicken then, shall we? Oh, actually, wait. Why is the skeleton down here? I need to go get the skeleton. I think the, the wolves are going to be the more difficult thing. So let's go and try and take out the skeleton. Oh no, I just pushed them really far away. Oh god, they're really hard to get in the water because they always knock you back. Go, 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 go. If I get killed by this skeleton and all my stuff falls in the water, I'm going to cry. Did it drop anything? I think it might have dropped one. Oh, it's right down at the bottom down here, though. Right, let's make sure I don't drown. Did I get one? 
Did I get a bone? Oh no, I think it just dropped some some arrows. I don't think it actually dropped a bone, but oh well. Uh, let's let's go get the the chicken then, shall we? Where did the the chicken head off to? It was around here somewhere. Uh, is that it? There we go. It's over here. Here we go. Let's just get a chicken. I just want to get my first animal in. And oh, there's another skeleton there as well. Right, I might as well quickly go after this skeleton as well. One, because it's just going to kill me if I don't. And two, uh, because I need to get the bones. And nope, no bones again. I'm getting so unlucky here. And speaking of unlucky, there's a creeper here. And what's that there? There's like a... A little thing that squids built over there. I don't even know what that is. And this is another reason why the iron sword would be helpful. Right. Let's try again. Let's go and try and get this chicken in. Oh, no, no. It's becoming day already. This isn't good. I've not got all the stuff that I need. The spiders shouldn't be too bad because they're not going to burn. But, okay, let's just very quickly run around and try and kill some more skeletons, shall we? See if we can get some bones. I just need some more bones. Like, I just need a few more so I can get it. Let's go take out this skeleton up here who's hanging out with the dog. Go, 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 go. Please drop a bone. Please drop a bone. There we go. That one dropped a bone. Can you see any more skeletons around here? Oh, here we go. There's loads of skeletons over here. Let's go take all of these guys out. And one of these should be able to at least drop some bones for me. Oh no, I've lost my I've lost my sword. <laughs> right, I think I need to go run inside. If I go grab my iron, I can go get that iron sword. Looks like squids here making some some animal friends. I'll, I'll leave them to it. I could be mean and kill them, but yeah, I don't I don't want to be mean. So here we go. If I grab this iron, and uh, then I can go and get a, an iron sword. Uh, the uh, the skeletons are going to be kind of burning anyway, so uh, there's a chance there might just be a, a pile of bones down there. Well, I'm hoping there will be anyway, because uh, I've only got one bone from that. And then eventually, I am going to go get some some animals in. Right, here's all the skeletons down here. There we go. I just managed to see that one burn and here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, I got three bones. Oh, here we go. Four bones. Five bones. I think there's five bones I managed to get from that. Right. Is there a, st a stray dog still round here? Uh, hopefully Squid didn't take both of them. He's got one in his pen there and uh, there was another one around here somewhere. Uh, here we go. Here's a stray dog down here. He's just gone and wandered off for a bit. Right. Five bones. i got to be able to get it. Go, go, go. There we go. My first animal. There we go. I got a dog on me. Uh, I don't need to put him straight in the pen yet. Uh, he can sort of come around and be my protection for a little bit. And where did that where did that chicken go? Let me go grab my seeds again. And let me go and see if I can track down that chicken. Oh, there's a spider here as well. If I take out the spider, I might be able to get some more string to help me get some fish. I'm actually doing quite well here now. I'm actually not doing uh, too bad. Sadly, though, uh, we have just about run out of time in this first episode. Uh, but this is going to be a, a several episode series. So I'll leave a link in the description uh, to part number two of the animal challenge. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you later. Bye! Oh!